Hey, the Crucible Podcast is back. <laughs> the Crucible guys, welcome to the Crucible Podcast. We're back. I am Husky, aka Emil, and I am Paul. Paul Wall. Hi. It's the People's Champ. <laughs> Episode Paul twenty-eight, Prime. still unsponsored by anybody, especially Prime. Hit us up, guys. Sons of bitches. Paulie, we got some cool stuff today. Uh, it's kind of like a little bit of a show and tell, but also a little bit of education. Um, I, I saw Ooh. in the chat, you know, we if if you tuned in last week, you would have seen our good friend Sean D'Souza. He popped yes. in. God, he I love that guy. He's so cool, man. So today in his exclusive chat, he has this little chat room. Uh, there was a little bit of buzz and talk about comsco mint and who makes these pieces right so specifically if you guys i come in there and ask a question he's like it might sound silly well let me tell you the only silly question is the question not asked absolutely not a silly question write that down (laughs) so this is this is what was in question these these shields right yes and his, his question was uh are these all the same like the style looks the same right they're stackers they're really you know really highly detailed are they all comsco and so it was really cool because uh you know he gave us a little bit um sorry sean gave us a little bit of education on it explaining that yes uh comsco kind of is is the i guess the source of them or whatever the the uh the marketing platform for them but the actual distributor and the mint is something called today ltd if you haven't heard of them before and i haven't you actually right. turned me on to it today on Instagram. I'll just drop their name today.ltd on Instagram. That's right. So you can check them out. Uh, really cool stuff that they put out. And they they will show you the stuff before it's even available. So like this one, this new one, I think it's like the hands holding a little yes. Uh, yes. armadillo lizard or something. Yeah. Um, that Beautiful I, piece. I saw that two to three weeks ago because it, it was released a while ago. And, uh, and just today they announced the sale of it. So it's- um, interesting fact about that. It's the kind of the first one ounce stacker from that Comsco slash Korea slash what have you kind of stackable, unique, beautiful looking pieces. That's right. And so most of their stuff came out starting with two ounces. Yes. And then they went to kilo format. Uh, and then you're holding one that is a two and a half ounce. Check That's this right. out. Let me. Um, what side is this on? One second. You can switch some lights on. Again. Yeah. I can find the switch. Where's that? Oh, right here. See what happens. You don't use something for a while. Right here. Let me do this quick. Let me do this right quick. Give it its proper propers. Right. Right here. Yeah, two ounce St. Michael sword, two and a half ounce. I'm sorry. This thing is a beauty. It is a beauty. And you know, when they were selling these or when they came out, there was actually a picture and I paid no attention to the picture, but there was a credit card laid next to it. And it didn't even make any sense until I actually got this in hand and then looked at the picture again. I said, well, yeah, that makes sense. Look at it. Look how big it is compared to a credit card. So it was for size reference. Yes. Yes. For size yeah. reference. I paid no attention to that picture. I, I might have said to myself, why the hell is there a card sitting there? But yeah. it was there for size reference. I usually use credit cards for size references as well. That's what you do. <laughs> so they, they have other cool pieces too. Uh, I believe this is the, what was this? Half ounce, right? Oh, if you can see it, there you go. Little itty bitty bitty shield. Also a yeah, stacker. And again, Sean did have some of those extras. So I do have some of those on the way, but just with other stuff coming, I'm just, you know, stuff's coming, coming and going, coming and going. And they even have a lunar series. So these, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, this is a dragon, lunar dragon, but Ooh. if I'm not mistaken, so these are actually not marketed by Comsco, right? So Comsco, okay. Comsco, as I understand it, doesn't even market the, um, uh, the sword that you're holding. They do. However, they do market the shields. These are Comsco. Uh, So yeah, it it is a Korean company there. I want to say their technology is unparalleled. You look at something like, and actually this is something I meant to ask Sean is what his take on why some of these foreign mints have so much better technology Technology. in play than the U S mint. You know, U S mint supposed to be the premier mint with, you know, the, the biggest, influence globally as far as they haven't changed anything 
They haven't it's changed it. anything. I mean, shit, look at the the Royal Canadian men, what they do with some of those incused uh, maple leaves. I mean, beautiful pieces, man. They are. It's it's not a huge change, but it's something different, you know, and it, it's just they offer it. Yeah. And it kind of makes you wonder that's the difference. What, why is there such a wasted opportunity with the U.S. Mint? But that's neither here nor there. It's more of a, a question to ponder. Uh, Comsco, or I should say today, LTD, today has, LTD has some really awesome technology in play. Like, I, I yeah. couldn't. I couldn't copy. You turned me on to their Instagram page and I was, <laughs> excuse me. You turned me on their Instagram page today and I was surprised that all that stuff, I've never seen it. I followed them. Um, all that stuff popped up that I've been recently buying. And as you said, like it's, it's there earlier than you can actually uh, buy it. Yeah. We're going to try to get them on the show, maybe for a future broadcast, but uh, just stay tuned. We got some, some big hitters coming up in uh, future shows. Uh, it's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, I must have missed that email. You must have missed it. You must not have gotten. I know it. somebody missed the email, but we're not bringing <laughs> that up. We're just busting balls here. Uh, okay. Polly, what's your take on unlicensed products? Uh, like, let's say one one came to mind. You you showed me some backstage, right? And one came to mind that I think would do really well if it was a licensed version. And I believe you, you, I don't know if you have one in front of you, but it would be, you know, Pokemon, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I've seen those. I didn't buy them only because they weren't licensed. That's the only reason I didn't buy a pile of those things, because I think they would do really well in the collector's resale market. Yeah, if you're they absolutely were, right. If they were marketed right, if they were legit, what you just said, yeah licensed yeah licensed. So, I, licensed. so yeah these these pokemon ones did come out uh i think they started with pikachu and then there was like yeah. bulbasaur char char million charmander charmander and um one of the other ones uh venusaur ivysaur anyways they, they came out a while back they sold out pretty quick but basically yes, they it's did. like they did still it's like let's say you got paulie right paul you wanna you wanna put out i don't know uh shoot care bears you want to make a Care Bear. Oh, yeah, right. As, let's say it's one of your kids' favorite things growing up, a Care Bear Pat thing. And so, right? Or Snorks, in my case. I love Snorks. A Care so Bears was, was it back then. Yeah. And so you, you go and you reach out to one of these mints, you shoot them a design, and they make it for you. And then you start selling it unlicensed. Now, what's to stop? I don't know who is it, Hanna Barbera or whoever owns Care Bear. Yeah. From coming after you, right? So you, you, you take ownership of a lot of risk there. Uh, but there's a lot of these pieces that come out all the time that are unlicensed. You see that a lot with poor artists as well. They will take a piece, a, a coin of anything that may have a little bit of relief on it. They'll push it down into some kinetic sand. sand yeah. Then they'll pour it. You just copied that. You just copied that trademarked license design and now they sell it on their own. I, I see it a lot. I mean, and it doesn't even have to be that. It could be, I've seen people take GI Joes and push them down into kinetic sand. You know, them little plastic figurines. They're not Ooh. the GI Joes, but them little plastic yeah, army dudes. Green right? army men, yeah. Those things are how old? Yeah, I mean, that's I had them when I was a kid growing up. That's what we used to do. We used to set up boards and you try to knock every little army guy down, almost like playing chess, right? But with little army dudes and little catapult launchers and stuff but i've seen them you know take them and isn't that like wrong that's, i guess that's a great question because i never thought of it that way like if i were to take uh take anything know, and do it the head off of a wolverine figure and shove it into sand yeah. and then pour that i didn't make that i didn't design that no no it's like hmm. It's like you can buy a Honda generator, you can buy the ripoff version Bauer from um what the hell's that place? Not Home Depot, but uh hell, we just got one in our area, it doesn't matter. But it's just a knockoff Chinese version, a worse yeah. Chinese version. They just they they don't care. Yeah. And I hate I hate seeing it around yeah. around here. And especially just, in, in this in this community. I mean, you see it all the time and then I mean people go crazy for it. They do. They do. They do because they don't readily produce these. So like, yes. I know Ninja Turtles bars came out not too long ago. They looked really cool. I didn't pull the trigger on it because I was like, ah, man, if it was licensed, I'd be all over it. But yep. I don't yep. know. There's like, a lot of that stuff. And that's what it always comes down to for me is, is the licensing. 
is yeah. definitely the licensing. And again, when it's licensed, it does cost a little bit more money, but you have that, I guess, sweet little peace of mind that, hey, the company that owns this product said it was okay for these people to make this. Right. Yeah. Here's an example of one that I got we tucked got away. Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Easy way to know that it's uh, it's not it's most likely not licensed as you flip it over and you see one of these generic backgrounds. Yeah. A little yeah. generic background because, and I do, my wife loves playing Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man. We have the game down here in our basement, stand up tower, mm -hmm. you know, do, 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 game. Um, and I bought her those 30th anniversary Pac-Man and Mrs. Pac-Man coin, which were licensed products. That's right. Here's another one. Just think about that. SpongeBob on a skateboard. Ah, SpongeBob. Yep. Nickelodeon coming one. after you. All right. Who's uh, who's this? Yeah, we just talked about that one. That's the <laughs> Afghani ripoff of Curious George. <laughs> it's it's Johnny Afghanistan Chimpo. animation. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny yeah, Chimpo. Is a, movie. This is from movie. Super Troopers. If you haven't seen it, hilarious yeah. movie. Absolutely. Definitely hilarious. check it out. You've never seen it. But I can almost promise you this is not licensed. And if it is. Correct me if I'm wrong in the chat or in the uh, comment section. I'm fine with that. I'm I'm totally allowed to be wrong because uh, I'm a co-host. Was it even show. was it, okay? Well, let's just take a step back. Sure, Johnny Chimple. Is that just? I mean, is, is that, that a trademark actual, name? No, yeah, but is it an actual show? Was it just something made up for that for that movie? I I don't I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it might be licensed by uh, oh what what is the name of their something lizard it's broken something lizard goofy. yeah a uh, lizard. Broken Lizard Films or yeah, something? Yeah, Broken Lizard. That's what it is. Broken Lizard yeah. Films. Yep. Yeah. So Good interesting. What's so, what's the what's the backside of it say? Uh Bedlam Metal. So Bedlam is a private okay. private minting. Sure, uh, sure, sure. It's a guy. I, I know his last name is Bedlam. Uh but yeah, they these they do some really cool work. I think uh actually for a while there, I think they were doing a lot of those nudie pieces. Ooh. So, yeah. Never seen uh, that. Versus, let's say versus. These, these that were licensed. Yeah, this is from, this is from, from Rolling your boy. Stones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucky you got that. Go back and watch that episode. Yeah. What's the story here? We gotta Paul? we gotta revisit that. That's the Rolling Stones. Steve Harris, Rob ripped a bunch of people off on some Marvel Marvel chibi things, and um, the yellow submarine yep. the yellow submarine by the beatles yeah i need to look into that we'll, we'll look into that and maybe get back on that in another couple weeks see if anything's come out black panther that's also from the crown mint also yep beautiful piece though this was coming licensed. out of fiji you know and that's what we were reading you know we got into we can get into another episode about some of their coke products uh he had a lawsuit on some of that coke products about different denominations that were it's a big goofy lawsuit but it was a lawsuit. So yeah. Wild. All right. And this one is from Samoa. It's a three ouncer. It's the oh, iPad. That... <laughs> yeah, that's the old iPad holster. It's a cool piece though. Okay, so okay, there you go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's a cool. Yeah, I like that. At the little money money dropping. One ounce? Uh no, three. Three ounce. Three ounce. Yeah. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. One ounce, not an iPad holder. It's a honker, I guess I didn't man. See it. Mr. Oh, unless it's really flat, could be, could be one ounce. But yeah, so those are licensed versus unlicensed. Uh, and again, you know, it's all. I guess the 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 intrinsic value is going to vary from person to person. It's like, do yes. you want to wear a Louis Vuitton purse or do you want to wear a knockoff that looks just like a Louis Vuitton purse? So to some people it matters to other people. It doesn't, I guess it's up to you. Yeah, sure. I don't wear it. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't wear Louis Vuitton purse. <laughs> Not today. At least not on Wednesdays. I, I still rock some Tommy Hilfiger though. Do you? Oh yeah. That's, that's just an iconic brand to me. I've worn it forever, forever. Nice. I think, I we just my Christmas outfit was new and that was all Tommy Hilfiger stuff and the original cologne by the way. That's cool. Yeah, I there like was that. a a period of my life when I had a big old Fubu jacket like a bomber oh, yeah. jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
There was some around here that had it, and I I had one like that. Okay, now you know what the Tommy Hilfiger flag, the emblem looks like, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now picture that, but a huge goose down winter jacket. Ooh. I had Heck it. Yeah, man. Expensive. Hell yeah. And a, dog, and a dog jumped on it and ripped it from here down because oh, the material so on the outside was so thin. Yeah. Oh, I was so pissed. I was Bobby so pissed. pissed. Damn dogs. I took such good care of that jacket. <laughs> Well, Polly, this is great, man. Hey, guys. Yeah, dude. So let us know in the chat. What do you prefer? License, unlicensed? Let us know in the chat. And don't forget, five ounce. CrucibleLive.com, Instagram, at the Crucible Podcast, and YouTube, at the Crucible Dash Podcast. Three ways to enter, three chances to win. Three ways to enter, only one winner. Only one winner. Get entered. Get yourself entered. And on that note, brah. Bruh, we'll see you next week.